Strangely, Celtic haven't played an away game in the SPL since the 29th of December. Chris Commons firing in that free kick. He's one of only two men to keep their place in the team from last week. Here's Draper. And Mackay just looking for the action on the ball to curl it inside the far post. Fraser Forster seemed pretty confident it was going to go wide. Doran takes the corner, Draper back into the middle and half cleared to Raven. Doran calls for it. He checks back onto his right foot. Good ball in by Doran. It comes to Nick Ross at the edge of the box and it sneaks in. Nick Ross on nine minutes, the 21 year old who scored on the opening day of the season. The campaign has been injury played since then for him. Miku with the flick on. Now Stokes and McGeoch, one of a number of youngsters getting an opportunity this afternoon. McCourt, now Rogic, the Australian. Good turn of pace by Rogic. Cummins, wonderful finish. How well did he take that? Inverness's lead lasted just 11 minutes. Celtic are level. Cummins with the first time left footed drive high into the top corner. McCourt. He's got quick feet. The vision picks out Stokes. And over the top from Tom Rogic. McCourt teasing the Inverness defenders. And Rogic with the shot. It's Doran. Almost passed his man, but Shinny wins it back. Doran. Now, did that come off a hand? Marcus Fraser, the 18-year-old, making his first Celtic start. Chammers cleared at the front post, and back it comes via McGeoch. Here's McGeoch again. Clipped into the middle. Attacked by Gerson, and Celtic are 2-1 up. Three minutes into the second half, and it's a debut goal for the Israeli. Rami Gerson, McGeoch, so clever in providing the assist. McGeoch towards the far post and Stokes off the crossbar by the Irishman. Had a little angle to work with. It's not been the best past couple of weeks for Inverness, who have been knocked out of two cup competitions and lost in the league. There's Ross, though, looking for his second goal. Mackay! And off the line by Adam Matthews, with Forster beaten by the deflection. Celtic rather fortunate to get away with that one. McGeer clears up the line for Tony Watt, who was a goal scorer for the Scotland under-21s in midweek over in Greece. Stokes, he's got Miku all alone in the middle. And that wraps up the points with eight minutes left to play. It's Miku's second goal in the Venezuelan, making his first appearance since December the 8th, gets on the score sheet. Stokes can't find a teammate this time. Opens it up nicely, though, for McGeoch. The overlap is provided by Adam Matthews, and Miku off the post as he looked for his second and Celtic's fourth. Rather unfortunate here, good improvisation from the Venezuelan. And Celtic stretch their lead at the top of the SPL, the perfect preparation ahead of that Champions League last 16 game against Juventus on Tuesday night.